Amundsen's scientific background, the traditional and local knowledge gained from the Inuit was a key factor in his later successful expedition to the South Pole. And knowledge sharing is essential, both to understand the past, but also to prepare ourselves for the future. A very interesting place for the Inuit was the forge, where they did metal work. And uh, Amundsen writes on 28th of June, 1905, that the Eskimos have talent for working metal and they have plenty of time on their hands. They are very adept and do amazing work. They are able to fashion the hardest steel and make use of even the most insignificant objects. They are also good at woodwork. They can join and splice first class. Atiklora was able to fashion the roundest and stiffest unaki using a piece of sheet iron from the small petroleum tank he inquired from us. Ries Tvet, who was the metal worker, said he could not, could not understand how he managed it. This first meeting was exceedingly ridiculous and is one of our liveliest reminiscences. At about a hundred paces from us, the Eskimo stopped and we, not wishing to show less strategic ability, did likewise. Now, I thought, is the moment to set this matter at rest. And I shouted, Tema! at the top of my voice. <coughs> It did not seem to affect them at all. We now approached one another very quickly and finally ended up by meeting. It was a remarkable encounter. The Eskimo stroked and patted us both on the front and on the back, all shouting manik to me as hard as they could. So we, true to our original plan of campaign, copied our adversaries and shouted and howled and patted and slapped to the best of our ability. <laughs> there continues to be keen interest in all the details of Amundsen's successful navigation of the Northwest Passage in Canada's Arctic. And Amundsen's commitment to following his boyhood dream of following in the footsteps of other explorers, polar explorers, fueled his determination to find and navigate the Arctic waterway linking east and west. <laughs> 